what is your biggest concern as far as teachers' loans are concerned? Because the GSIS gives out loans. I don't know yeah. if the DepEd does, but I do know that majority, the bulk of loans taken out by teachers are from private uh, lenders, loan sharks, five, six, who actually grab the, uh, well, not grab the man, but demand that the teacher turns over their uh, sim- their uh, ATM cards. Yes, that's true. That's very true, sir. No? So basically, what are the concerns? Uh, number one, I think there is a perception that GSIS loans have higher interest rates. Um, although there's a difference between, I guess, what is the effective interest rates. And, and private lenders are very good at that. When they advertise their interest rates, it might seem low, but effectively it's quite high. Also, the problem with uh, private lenders is that they also have agreements no, for salary automatic salary deduction, and that's something we'll have to review. Uh, due to that, uh, us in government, we have what we call a minimum take-home pay. So what used to happen in the past is because uh, all these loans from the private lenders are automatically deducted, Pagdating po sa GSIS loans, uh, they are no longer deducted and so they the teachers end up suffering uh, surcharges, penalties no, because of uh, p- late payments or no payments at all. Uh, the GSIS tried to do something about that during the last administration. They launched uh, what we call the GFAL program where the GSIS bought off all these loans from private lenders mm. so that consolidate them all, and the teachers will just have to repay GSIS. No? And we were trying to offer better terms. Now, uh, for now, I guess I, I cannot preempt anything because no discussion has been really made no, with this right now. Although, definitely, this is something that the administration of the Vice President, Secretary Sarah Duterte, would want to fix no? the, the problem with teachers' loans. We're hoping that, I guess, we could, again, reconsolidate these loans to one uh, financial institution, whether it be GSIS, no, uh, with better interest rates and maybe a better amortization period, so that so we can we can improve the net take home of the teachers, non financial benefits like uh, health insurance, for example, which you know uh, might seem minimum impact at the moment, but the truth is it has a large impact on the finances of our teachers. Pag may nakakasakit, no, and all mm. that. And uh, field health, of course, is always there, but it would always be best to have some form of health insurance to also support that. 